On this channel, the entire mission is to make life-changing returns financially by being an early stage investor to a mega trend. We've been covering SMRs for years at this point. So let's see how they've been doing. The world seems to finally be waking up to small modular reactor revolutionary nuclear technology in the last year the nukes etf nukz etf is literally up 66 percent this is what it's all about get in as early as humanly possible to a mega trend which is the nuclear renaissance taking place before our very eyes and find some undiscovered assets and get those life-changing returns so that is the NUKZ ETF, Nukes. These are the companies within the ETF held by this ETF. We have Constellation Energy Corporation at 9%. We have Cameco Corporation at 9%. We have GE Vernova at 3%. We have New Scale Power Corporation at 3%. And then we have Oclo Inc. at 3%. Let's cover some more. ASP Isotopes at 3%. Centris Energy at 2.7%. Curtis Wright Corporation at 2.7%. Rolls-Royce Holdings at 27 And then Lightbridge Corporation at 2.6%. We've covered a lot of these assets on this channel. Today, we're going to go through updates from the top five assets within this ETF and see why they're in the ETF. Are they worth looking at? Does it make the overall ETF a bullish bet? So for starters... Constellation Energy. It's the largest position in this ETF. And here might be a reason why. Why Constellation is restarting a reactor for Microsoft. Microsoft is a multi-trillion dollar company. They are enormous. They're building artificial intelligence data centers all over the world. They're using Constellation. Constellation is working to restart Unit 1 of Three Mile Island, now renamed the Crane Clean Energy Center and hopes to provide Microsoft power from 2027. So obviously that's just enormous for Constellation. Not only is that a huge customer, it means there's probably gonna be other massive customers in the pipeline if they are successful. And in this video, we're gonna talk about other SMR companies that could potentially also have massive customers in the future. Up next is Cameco. Number two, Cameco owns Westinghouse. Here's a list of Westinghouse's massive customers. Southern Nuclear in the United States operates the Vodal, the massive Vodal electric generating plant using Westinghouse's AP1000 reactors. Duke Energy, the massive utility company, ordered AP1000 plants as part of the New Star Consortium for new nuclear projects. Progress Energy selected Westinghouse's AP1000 for potential new nuclear plants. South Carolina Electric and Gas involved in the Virgil C. Summer Nuclear Generating Station with AP1000 reactors. China National Nuclear Corporation operates four AP1000 reactors in China. The government of Poland selected Westinghouse for its first nuclear power plant with three AP1000 reactors, potentially three more. This is a rock solid bet on the small modular reactor space. Cameco is not only the second largest provider of uranium in the world, which is a scarce resource, but they also have a big stake in Westinghouse. That's why Cameco is number two in the Nukes ETF. And so Westinghouse is just a massive company. Up next, we have GE Vernova Inc. Boredom advances nuclear plans with early works agreement for small modular reactor deployment. Nordic Power Company Fordham and U.S.-based reactor developer GE Vernova Hitachi Nuclear Energy have entered into an early works agreement to advance potential deployment of the BWRX-300 small modular reactor in Finland and Sweden. Massive partnership for GE. We are seeing adoption of their technology. GE Vernova Hitachi Nuclear Energy has received approval to construct the West's first small modular reactor in Ontario, Canada, paving the way for carbon-free electricity. This is another very high-quality small modular reactor company. GE is enormous, and they're getting big customers. Up next, New Scale Power Corporation. New Scale is creating the world's 
first nuclear reactor producing 200 tons of hydrogen daily launched in the U.S. We covered New Scale in previous videos. We covered a lot of these companies in previous videos. Today, we're just going through some of the biggest updates for these companies. In a significant advancement for integrated clean energy systems, New Scale Power Corporation, in collaboration with GSE Solutions, has launched the world's first fully integrated hydrogen production simulator within a small modular reactor control room environment. This positions New Scale's SMR ecosystem as a multi-output energy solution addressing in industrial decarbonization, water scarcity, and clean molecule synthesis in a single platform. So that's one example of New Scale's technology being used. It's not quite as big as Westinghouse, but there are examples of adoption of, of New Scale's technology. Utah Associated Municipal Power Systems planned a 12-module SMR plant for the Carbon Free Power Project. Standard Power selected New Scale for SMRs to power two data centers in Pennsylvania and Ohio, supported by Entro One Energy. Row Power Romania engaged in a 462 megawatt power plant project with New Scale's SMR technology with floors phase two front end engineering and design ongoing. New Scale is essentially a bet on the massive floor company. Florid revenue of $16.3 billion in 2024, $16.6 billion in trailing 12 month revenue as of March 31, 2025, 27,000 employees. Floor is New Scale's majority shareholder, having invested over $600 million since 2007 to advance New Scale's small modular reactor technology toward commercialization. So New Scale has major, major backing, obviously very good for New Scale. Then fifth on the list is Oklo or Oklo. We cover Oklo a lot on this channel. We've been covering it a lot on this channel. It's outperforming almost every other asset on the planet. It's doing extremely well. We have Jim Kramer jumping on board. Jim Cramer on Oklo, a headline would move that thing up 25%. Okay, so let's talk about this. We know that this is nuclear fission, not nuclear fusion. We know it's a big speculation. We know a lot of people like it. We know it's up a great deal, 143%. This one, we're now going to wait for it to come in. Maybe we give it a week. Then we'll take a look, but I'm not going, not against Oklo, and I can't be because I'm very pro nuclear and I do like the uranium stocks too. I do not expect anything short term, but I know that a headline would move that thing up 25%. We cover it all the time. It's one of the most deeply connected company when it comes to artificial intelligence. The creator of Oklo is the creator of OpenAI, which is creating the world's largest supercomputer. He's saying a headline will move Oklo up 25%. It will the second we get confirmation that Oracle or OpenAI or the world's biggest supercomputer is using Oklo. Very, very likely that they will. So those are the top five assets in the Nukes ETF. There are a lot more. We can cover a lot more. If you want me to cover more small modular reactor companies on this channel, just like the video so, and so that we can get some engagement so I can see that people want this type of content. Thank you so much. We are winning as early stage investors. That's difficult in this environment.